Hey, this is Nick Akel. I'm the coordinator of the Eastmont Computer Clubhouse in Oakland. And today I'm going to go over how to get started with Autodesk Maya. The first part of this guide is going to be about moving around. So don't worry about all the buttons and uh, dials that are all around the screen. All we're going to do right now is just move around and kind of get started with how to navigate in the program. So as you click your mouse and drag and do things, you'll notice nothing moves. The trick is you need to hold the Alt key down on your keyboard. Once you hold the Alt key, you can click your left mouse button and you can start rotating. Depending on what direction you turn, you can move around your little palette here that you're gonna work on. The next way to move is to slide around and that is Alt and click in your middle mouse wheel like a button and then you should move and kind of slide around the palette. All right, the people at Autodesk must have really liked zooming in and out because they gave you three different mouse keys to perform the exact same function. The first one is hold down Alt, click in your left mouse key, and the middle mouse wheel. Click it like a button. And with those two keys pressed and the Alt key, you can pull in and out to zoom in. You can also zoom in and out by just rotating the middle mouse wheel on your mouse and that should help you zoom in and out of the palette. The third way to do it is to hold down Alt and click your right mouse button and as you pull back and forth you can zoom in and out. The next part of navigation is your panels. Right now we are in the perspective window. See it down here it says perspective. You can change this to a four panel view by clicking this button here and that changes it from a top view to a side view to a front view and a perspective view. The shortcut for the four panel view is just by hitting the space bar on your keyboard and you can see different windows. This is top, this is front, and this is side. And the top right one is your perspective window. This one you can move all around any way you want. The other windows you can pretty much just zoom in and out and move back and forth. That's the only navigation it gives you. Now that I covered moving around, let's go onward to creating 3D objects with Autodesk Maya. Go up to the Polygons tab and click on it, and you'll have a few different types of material that are already made that you can put on your palette and manipulate. I'm gonna start off with the polygonal sphere, and the way to create this material is click on it to select it. And right here it's asking me to click and drag on the grid. So what I'm going to do is click my mouse down and as I pull the object becomes larger and as I bring my mouse back in it becomes smaller. Once I let go the object is made. And there we go. I'll use the navigational keys I talked about in the previous part to move around my object. Zoom in and out. and I can see that it is a 3D object. To get rid of this object, just hit the delete key on your keyboard and it goes away. And we can make something new. I'm gonna make a polygonal cube. This is gonna be a little bit different. So you click on the grid and drag to first set how big your rectangle or square should be. And afterwards, you drag up to select the height of that cube. Once I let go, my cube is made. I can move around it. See that it is a 3D object. Again, hitting delete on your keyboard gets rid of it. I'm gonna go on to making a polygonal cylinder. And I'm gonna click and drag and pull up to set how high this is. And there is another object. I'll quickly go into a few other ones. Here is a cone. Here is a plane. Here is a pyramid shape. Here is a pipe. So I can set the size of it and then I'll pull up to set how high it is. There is also a donut shape. And then you click and drag how thick that donut shape should be. Once you let go, your object is made. 
All right, really quickly, I'm gonna create a few objects and then I'm gonna go over the different type of shading displays you can look at. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a sphere, a cube, a cone, it's just a kind of donut shape. I can see my objects there on my palette. So the way to change the shading modes is with the keys on your keyboard. Uh, pressing four on your keyboard is the mode we're looking at now, and this is wireframe mode. If I press five on my keyboard, it will show the objects with a skin around the wireframes. If I press six, it will show the shaded and texture display, but I haven't added any textures to my objects yet, so it looks exactly the same as if I press five on my keyboard. There's no difference right now. Number seven is to use the lights, but right now I don't have any lights, so my objects are pitch black. So I'm going to go back to pressing four on my keyboard to go into the wireframe mode. And I'm going to show you real quick, if I use my navigation tools and move really far away from my objects, in this case, that they're gone, I'm going to move way away, and I don't even know where my objects are anymore. The quick shortcut way to get back to your palette and your objects is just hit F on your keyboard. F is find. It will immediately zoom in to your palette and show you your objects. So I'm back. In case you ever get lost, this is a great shortcut. Now that I've gone through creating objects, let's move onward to manipulating objects.